Lord Brahma then said that his birth was from the lotus flower which blossomed from the navel of Narayana after the dissolution of the three worlds or three planetary systems known as Bhurloka, Bhuvarloka and Svaraloka. The universe is divided into three divisions, namely Svarga, Martya and Patala. These three planetary systems are merged into water at the time of dissolution. At that time, Narayana, a plenary portion of Krishna, lies down on the water and gradually a lotus stem grows from his navel and from that lotus flower, Brahma is born. It is naturally concluded that the mother of Brahma is Narayana. Because the Lord is the resting place of all the living entities after the dissolution of the universe, he is called Narayana. The word Nara means the aggregate total of all living entities and Ayana means the resting place. The form of Garbhodakshayi Vishnu is called Narayana because he rests himself on that water. In addition, he is the resting place of all living creatures. Besides that, Narayana is also present in everyone's heart as confirmed in the Bhagavad Gita. In that sense also, the Lord is Narayana as Ayana means the source of knowledge as well as the resting place. It is also confirmed in the Bhagavad Gita that the remembrance of the living entity is due to the presence of the super soul within the heart. After changing the body, a living creature forgets everything of his past life. But because Narayana, the super soul, is present within his heart, he is reminded by him to act according to his past desire. Lord Brahma wanted to prove that Krishna is the original Narayana, that he is the source of Narayana, and that Narayana is not an exhibition of the external energy, Maya, but is an expansion of spiritual energy. The activities of the external energy, or Maya, are exhibited after the creation of this cosmic world, and the original spiritual energy of Narayana was acting before the creation. So the expansions of Narayana, from Narayana to Karanodakshai Vishnu, from Karanodakshai Vishnu to Garbhodakshai Vishnu, from Garbhodakshai Vishnu to Kshirodakshai Vishnu, and from Kshirodakshai Vishnu to everyone's heart, are actually Krishna's expansions, manifestations of his spiritual energy. They are not conducted by the material energy, therefore they are not temporary. Anything conducted by the material energy is temporary, but everything executed by the spiritual energy is eternal. Lord Brahma reconfirmed his statement, establishing Krishna as the original Narayana. He said that the Lord's gigantic universal form is resting on the water known as Garbhodaka. He spoke as follows, This gigantic universal form is another manifestation of your energy. On account of his resting on the water, this universal form is also Narayana and we are all within the womb of this Narayana form. I see your different Narayana forms everywhere. I can see you on the water, I can feel you within my heart, and I can also see you before me now. You are the original Narayana. <laughs>